Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over some example problems for determining the direction of the induced current when we apply Lenz's law. And I did make a previous video where I went over an explanation of what Lenz's law is, and you can link to that video in the upper right-hand corner of this video. But real quick, this, I would say, is Faraday's law, and this negative sign is Lenz's law. There's no specific other equation for Lenz's law, but what is that? negative sign mean. Remember, the negative sign means that when there is a change in the magnetic flux, the polarity of the induced EMF is such that it produces a current whose magnetic field opposes the change in magnetic flux. Now, Lenz's law is a little bit complicated because it's really simply conceptual. There's no math that you can do to it. But what we're going to do is we're going to determine for eight different examples, the direction of the induced current when we change the magnetic flux through a coil of wire. So here we have a coil of wire, and here we have our magnetic field, the B field, it's pointing out of the screen, out of your screen, and what we're going to do is we're going to change the magnetic flux. There's no magnetic flux, there's no magnetic field here, there's no magnetic flux, so we're going to increase the magnetic flux through that coil of wire. Now sometimes I think it's good if you have something like here I have actually a coil of wire. Now I'm gonna do these problems without using this coil of wire as I did in the previous video, but you can have something like this to kind of play along and use uh, as an example, or maybe just have it pictured in your mind what's going on. Okay, so we, we're going to determine the direction of the induced current. The magnetic field, when we move that coil of wire in, then the magnetic field through that coil of wire is increasing, and that magnetic field is pointing out of the page. So the coil of wire doesn't like that when the magnetic field is increasing through it. So what it's going to do is it, this coil of wire, is going to produce its own current. And it's going to produce a magnetic field to counteract that increasing magnetic field out of the page. So therefore, it is going to, this coil is going to produce a magnetic field that's pointing into the page. So it kind of negates or cancels out the increasing magnetic field out of the page. Well, how does it do that? We're going to use our right hand. This is my right hand. And these are my fingers. We use the fingers to point in the direction of the induced magnetic field. And we use our thumb to point in the direction of the induced current. So I'm going to imagine I'm going to grab that coil of wire so that my fingers point inside, into the screen, inside the coil of wire, and you can see then my thumb points in the clockwise direction. So that means the direction of the induced current is going to be clockwise. Clockwise induced current produces a magnetic field into the screen, into the page, and that will counteract the increasing magnetic field that's coming out of the page as that coil moves into that magnetic field. Okay, now let's try another example. This one's a little different. We're gonna kind of go with two different kinds of examples. Here we have, in the first place, a wire, and there's a current flowing through that wire. So the first thing we need to determine is what is the magnetic field? In which direction is the magnetic field pointing above the wire, and especially below the wire where our coil of wire is? So we're going to take our right hand rule again, we're going to point our thumb in the direction of the current, and we're going to wrap our hands. You can imagine wrapping our hands around that wire. And then above the wire, our fingers point out, so that means the magnetic field points in. And below the wire, we have the palm of our hand, the kind of the heel of our hand, and that indicates the magnetic field is flowing into the page below that wire. So I'm going to draw the magnetic field like that. Above, it points out with the dots and below the magnetic field points in with the x's. Now what we're gonna say is, we're gonna say that the current is increasing. If we increase the current, then the magnetic field strength increases. And the magnetic field strength below the wire, where our coil of wire is, that means it's gonna be increasing into the page. Once again, the coil doesn't like it when the magnetic field is increasing. In this case, it's increasing into the page. So therefore, it's going to make some magnetic field that's going to point out of the page. Now, how does the coil make magnetic field that points out of the page? It does that with an induced current that's going to be pointing in the counterclockwise direction. I'm going to imagine holding on to that coil of wire. 
my fingers point out of the page would be inside and therefore my thumb points in the direction of the induced current and that is in the counterclockwise direction. Okay, now we're going to go through six more examples. We'll go a little faster because they're kind of repeats, but of course it's changing direction and changing the change in the flux depending on whether it's increasing or decreasing. Now in this case, we're going to move the coil out. As we move the coil out of the magnetic field, the amount of magnetic field is going to be decreasing and it's going to be decreasing into the page. Now if it's decreasing into the page, we want to produce more into the page. That means this coil is going to produce more magnetic field that points into the page. Now how does it do that? I take my fingers, I'm pointing them into the page, and that means my thumb points in the direction of the induced current. If I have an induced current, then the magnetic field from this coil of wire will be pointing into the page, and that means the induced current is pointing or flowing in the clockwise direction. Okay, next one. Now, it's always good. You could stop the video here and try and figure out what the answer is when I tell you whether or not the current is increasing or decreasing, but now we have our wire, the current. We're going to determine the direction of the current, uh, or the direction of the magnetic field around the wire first. Point my thumb in the direction again to the right. Reach under, hold on to that wire. My fingers point out, my heel points in, and that means above the wire, the magnetic field is coming out of the page. Below the wire, the magnetic field is going into the page. Now we're going to say once again that the current is increasing, and that means where the coil is, it's going to be increasing out of the page. That means that my coil is going to be producing magnetic field going into the page to negate, to cancel out that increasing magnetic field that's coming out of the page. How do I do that? I take my fingers, I point them into the page inside the coil, and therefore my thumb points in the direction of the induced current again, and that is in the clockwise direction. All right, let's see the next one. Okay, now we have our coil moving in again, but this time it's gonna be increasing, but increasing into the page. So the magnetic field is increasing into the page. We don't want that, the coil doesn't want that. It's gonna produce more that's coming out of the page. I hold on to a section, it doesn't matter which side, I hold on to a section of that coil. My fingers point out, which would be inside. So in order to produce, uh, to negate that increasing magnetic field into the page, the coil is gonna produce magnetic field out of the page. How does it do that? It has to produce an induced current that would be flowing in the counterclockwise direction. Okay, another one with the wire. This time the wire is pointing up, and this time I point my thumb in the direction of the current. I reach around that wire, I hold onto the wire. That means on the right-hand side, the magnetic field into the page. On the left-hand side, the magnetic field is out of the page. And this time we're gonna say that the current is gonna be decreasing. That means that inside this coil, there's gonna be less magnetic field into the page, and therefore the coil has to produce more magnetic field into the page to counteract that changing magnetic field. And I'm gonna put my fingers inside the coil, and I'm gonna point them inside, and therefore my thumb is gonna be pointing in the direction of the induced current again, and that is going to be in the clockwise direction. Okay, I think we have two more to go here. All right, now we have Lenz's Law, and we have the magnetic field is pointing out. The coil moves out of the magnetic field. That means that the magnetic field that's outside the coil, is pointing outside the screen, outside of the page, is going to be decreasing, and that means that my coil is going to want to produce more magnetic field out of the page. How does it do that? I reach in, I hold on to that, I have more coming out, and therefore my thumb points in the counterclockwise direction, and it does that by producing a current that flows in the counterclockwise direction. Okay, I think this will be the eighth one, if I remember correctly. Okay, once again, we have a wire. We have a current flowing through the wire. The current is flowing down, so I'm gonna take my thumb and point my thumb down, and I reach around that wire. That means on the right-hand side where the coil is, the magnetic field comes out of the page, and on the left-hand side, the magnetic field goes into the page. Fingers pointing in the direction of the magnetic field from a long straight wire, right hand rule. And now we're gonna say the current is de decreasing. So now it's decreasing out of the page. All right, 
and therefore we want to produce more. We want the coil is going to want to produce more out of the page. Well, how does it do that? If I just hold on to that coil in any place with my fingers coming out, because that would be more magnetic field coming out of the page, and my thumb would point in the direction of the induced current again, and that is in the counterclockwise direction. Okay, so there you go. We did eight different examples. Please don't try to memorize those or anything like that, or try to kind of relate one to the other. Just do each problem as it comes. Think about whether the current is, in, well, it's going to tell you whether the current is increasing or decreasing, and how is the coil going to counteract that change in magnetic flux. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please do all the following four things. Subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And don't forget, sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends. Show them just how much you care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.